Hi everyone, I'm Ronan the Chain. Andor episode one just dropped. Uh, this show has been getting hype from people that I've admired the reviews. And I like the character a lot from Rogue One. Rogue One's a great, great film, great Star Wars film. And I'm very intrigued to see what this show adds on to the mythology of this galaxy. There's music. That felt like Blade Runner and World War II music. <laughs> There's Diego. Morlana won. Priox Morlana Corporate Zone. Five years battle before the Avon. Whoa, man, this style. <laughs> Tron Legacy? This girl from Canada. And the enemy of Rashid Man. What are you? Seriously? Boyfriend, husband? I'm looking for my sister. Why? She is. She's not here. She disappeared. People come and go. You should leave. What was her name? Nobody here gives their real name. How did he die? He butt hit him. They're going to get me. I'll tell you what happened. Headshot. <laughs> wow, that was like an early model of the Y Wing, or like a different version of the Y Wing. Are those dogs from Corellia? I. I don't know why, I'm just happy to see Diego and Luna again in Star Wars. I, I, no sé por qué. I don't know. Oh, look at that, that alien looks like from The Force Awakens BTS. Oh, that's so cool. I can't believe I spotted him. That <laughs> quickly I spotted it. Or her, quickly. Oh. Wow. Went with the brush. A crime, that was murder, but also the two knuckleheads went looking for it. Wow. It was like Morse code? Wow, it's so cool. I love it. <laughs> Very Boy Scout for like Imperial style. Oh, look at these ships. Oh my God. That looked like on um, the Shadowcaster, whatever that, that ship that Sabine's friend from Rebels had. Wow, they ended it like that? Wow, okay. Fascinating ending for the first episode. Um, that is cool that there was no, I mean, the, the Imperial, the Empire is mentioned, but it's not shown. And nothing rebellion, resistance wise, is, is being mentioned or shown. So that's fascinating. Uh, yeah, I heard that it felt like the opening felt like Blade Runner, and it was full on, felt like Blade Runner in Star Wars universe. The fact that they, they mentioned a brothel. Those designs to those ships, one looking like I think that's the name of the, the ship, the Shadow Text that looks like it. Um, there was that creature that was from the BTS of the, the Force Awakens. And um, yeah, seeing Diego play this character that it's not nearly as close as what we meet him in Rogue One, and yet he killed someone. You could tell he didn't want to kill him, but he killed someone and killed two people to be, to, to be um, uh, correct. And that the the lady Adriana or Adria Adria Arhana, there we go. She was from Good Omens, who I dug that that show, and she was great in it. And I thought her character Bix was gonna be end up being either a sister or a love interest to him. So I don't know. There looks like there's feelings for for one another, but um, she might have some connections to underground rebel stuff. I don't know, but um, I I dug the music, 
And uh, yeah, I, I'm I, seeing how this ended now. I'm like, all right, thank God they dropped the first three episodes because how would have that played out? Um, and it moved. Nothing felt slow. Nothing felt like it was dragging. It moved, and you're just living in this world. And I like that that we get to spend time with just the blue collar side of the galaxy. And then you see some see some uppity guys that are very Boy Scoutish about we must answer this. I dug this first episode. Uh, not the strongest, strongest pilot to, to a series, but I got to spend time in a world that I usually we don't spend time with. And there was cool flashbacks to young Cassian. Hopefully you dug the reaction and I'll see you in the next episode.